So a lot of the meat substitutes have been cr heavily criticized lately with the big push for meat alternatives. They're highly processed. They're uh, full of canola oils or seed oils that are also highly processed. It's full of uh, protein isolates from whether it's soy or pea protein, depending on uh, whether we're looking at Impossible Burger or if we're looking at Beyond Meat. They're devoid of nutrients, any of the uh, nutrients or vitamins or minerals that you would find within these products are considered ingredients because they're added. They're not naturally, innately uh, part of um, the concoction that they're trying to sell us. This post was sent to me on Facebook. Uh, a very clever vegan thought that uh, they were going to shut me up with this post about Hey friend, you think there's a lot of ingredients in Beyond Meat? Well, look at the amount of ingredients inside meat. Well, first of all, these are not ingredients. The uh, fat, the protein, the essential amino acids, the cholesterol, the vitamins, the minerals, the creatine, the taurine, all of these are actual nutrients, not ingredients. They're naturally part of what meat is, the flesh of the meat. Inside all of these uh, ingredients, you'll see uh, also in enzymes within them or specific names for proteins that are within uh, the muscles, myosin. These are not ingredients. This is uh, molecules, enzymes, natural substances found in living tissue and organisms that take part in uh, uh, metabolic pathways, uh, as well as uh, functioning of the animal while uh, the animal was alive inside the tissues. This is a living substance. This is not a concoction of isolated peas mixed with refined oils, um, blended together with some kind of binder and uh, chemicals uh, for emulsions so they can emulsify, so that they can stick together. It seems like vegans just want to concentrate on what food t tastes like, the texture. They try and continually mimic the real animal foods, which they deny are actually the appropriate food. Uh, even though they are in such denial, they don't understand or they don't want to admit. I think that they know. They just don't want to admit that they continue to crave these foods. You see... Um, Vegan ideology can brainwash people and people can believe all sorts of stupid things, but the body isn't stupid and the body will hound you till the day you die, making you crave these animal foods. It's telling you, hey, stupid, this is what you're supposed to feed me. But the vegan ideology and Disney and all of uh, the pop culture tells us, no, don't hurt the piggy. <laughs> He's so cute. He's, he's so cute. Don't kill him. Starve yourself on Beyond Me. He's a piggy. Pig.